this video, we're going to talk about writing code in Excel VBA that allows us to open a workbook, copy its contents, and paste that data into a second workbook. We're going to be dealing a lot with setting object variables. Object variables are physical things in VBA like workbooks, worksheets. So we're going to assign variables to those things. So just to show you what we want to automate here today, I have the template you see in front of me and I have this export file. Every day I open this export file and this file contains two columns. One has inventory ID numbers and the second has quantity on hand for those inventory items. And every day I copy this data paste it over here and that feeds into this middle section it does a VLOOKUP based on the inventory ID number and pulls the quantity in hand in this column over here and then I have a formula that produces yes or no if the inventory for each item is less than 4,000 units if it is yes we need to reorder restock the inventory so I have a formula here that multiplies the cost per unit times 3,000 to order 3,000 more units. So we want to create code that will automate all of this and in addition once the data is dropped in this template we want to filter this section here on just the yeses, copy it and add that data to a new worksheet. So we'll get started here. I'm gonna close out this export file. I'm gonna delete this section out here and we want to go into the VBA editor window so I'm going to hit Alt F11 anywhere in this project window I'm going to right click go to insert module now it gives it this generic module 1 name so I'm going to call this inventory in the editor window I'm going to begin with the keyword sub and we'll call this subroutine orders so we want to begin by declaring variables that are specific to the workbook we're in now this dropped template so we're going to begin with the keyword dim the first one is going to be the workbook variable so i'm going to call this workbook and that's going to be as the data type workbook we're going to have one for the worksheet we're on now so i'm going to call this ws and that's going to be as the data type worksheet we're eventually going to add a new worksheet to this workbook once we copy our data here so I'm gonna copy this and call this NWS for new worksheet now like I said we're gonna copy and filter this range here so I'm gonna add a variable for this range I'm just gonna call it RNG and this is gonna be as the data type range now we have variables specific to the file we want to open that export file so the first one is just going to be called path one and that's just the path to that file so that's going to be as the data type string and we're also going to have a workbook and worksheet variable for that file so we'll just call this wbx for export and wsx so the majority of these variables are object variables so in VBA object variables begin with the keyword set when you define them so the workbook we're in now is going to be equal to right here I can hit control and space at the same time start typing this workbook and hit tab we want to set our worksheet we're in now and that's going to be equal to the workbook variable we just assigned and worksheets and the name of the sheet is called export drop since we're still on this worksheet I'm gonna go ahead and set this range here and that's gonna be equal to the worksheet variable we just set up and this begins in range E1 and I know every cell in this range of data has either a value or a formula so what I can use here is the current region and that will select everything that has data in those interconnected cells so now we have the path variable and this is not an object variable it's not 
a workbook or a worksheet or a range so it does not require the keyword set in front of it it's going to be equal to the path that opens our workbook so this needs to be enclosed in double quotes I'm gonna begin with the double quote and then go to that file right click go to properties security and then it has the full path right there so I'm gonna copy that paste that in there end with a double quote and we're gonna set this workbook object and that's gonna be equal to workbooks and from here what we want to do is the method open because we're setting this simultaneously as we open it so here um, you could put the full path as a string but we assign that path to this variable just copy this and paste it down here we're gonna set the worksheet for this object and that's going to be equal to the workbook we just set up and then worksheets and that doesn't have a name it's just sheet one so at this point we have opened this workbook export so now what we want to do with our worksheet variable for that workbook is begin in cell a1 because that's where the data begins and again it's continuous data all the way down to the last row and column so we can use this current region and then we want to copy that so here after the copy we can set our destination and that is going to be equal to our worksheet variable for this existing template we're in now and that begins in range A2 because we want to paste it right here in cell A2. So now we have copied, opened, copied, and pasted that data with this workbook export. We can now close that out because we're done. We're done with that file. So at this point, we should have our data feed into this middle section and anything that has low inventory will have a value of yes in column I which is the fifth column so recall that we set that area as this range object variable over here so I'm gonna refer to that range and then auto filter and this has a couple of elements we need to set the first one is the field or the column we want to filter on so I'm going to refer to the field and this is expressed numerically so that was the fifth column column I um, because we started in column E and we want to have our criteria for that filter that is criteria one it's going to be equal to a value of yes with this range object we also want to copy that data now that it's filtered and we're not going to be able to do the destination like we did up here because we want to paste that on this new worksheet variable and we've not set that up yet so we need to first set this new worksheet variable and that is going to be equal to our workbook object variable and then worksheets and then add so now we want to do a couple of things with this new workbook variable or worksheet variable sorry so I'm going to use the with statement because that allows us to refer to that variable and then the thing you know multiple things we want to do with it the first thing we want to do is in range a1 paste special and then we want to select this last option here paste values and number formats because some of that data we're pasting has formulas in it so we want to paste that as values 
Now the second thing I want to do is auto fit the columns because some of our data here is kind of long so I'm just going to refer to columns and then auto fit. So that's everything we want to do with this new worksheet so I'm going to say end with and one thing I want to do and really this is just for the viewer benefit once we add that new worksheet and paste the data in there it's going to be kind of hard to see in this video so with that active window I want to set the zoom to 150 percent so the final things we want to do is one I want to remove the auto filter on this range so I'm going to refer to the range there again and if there's already a filter on it what we need to do is just refer to the auto filter again and that will clear the filter finally I want to remove the data that we pasted in this area over here because the thought is I want to do this every day and I want to clear this out after everything is done so I'm going to refer to our worksheet object variable again and then range beginning in a2 now I want to I want um, a dynamic thing here that will select that entire range beginning in a2 all the way down to the last row and column so I'm gonna insert range a2 again and here what I'm gonna do is end XL down and then end XL to the right and that's the bottom end of our range so the top end is a2 the bottom end begins on a2 but goes down to the last cell containing values or last row and then over to the right to the last column containing values so then I want to clear the contents and that should clear everything out so now we're gonna run this one line at a time by hitting F8 each time and that will execute the lines of code here. So gonna F8 right now we're just setting up our variables here. We opened our export worksheet. We're gonna copy that and paste it into the new worksheet then we're gonna close so you can see the data is there now you can see the values here have the formulas have populated yeses so now we're gonna filter on just the yeses we're gonna copy that data we're gonna add a new worksheet with this new worksheet we're gonna paste the values in there we're gonna auto fit the columns we're gonna zoom the window and then back on this first tab we're gonna clear our filter and then we're gonna clear the data here in this drop range so that is how you can create code in VBA that allows you to open a workbook copy its contents paste it into a second workbook and set up object variables hey if you like what you saw today please hit that subscribe button thanks for watching